today I'm going to deliver a talk on general relativity and tally parallel theory of gravity. Uh, here are the outli uh, outlines of my presentation. First, I will briefly discuss the history of general theory of rel uh, relativity. Then I will discuss the mod uh, motivation that why there's a need to modify the theory of general uh, relativity. Uh, then I, I will discuss one of the uh, branch of tally parallel theory of gravity, which is the FTB gravity. Then I will discuss, uh, discuss some basic concepts followed by the methodology that we adopt while solving the problems related to the tally parallel theory of gravity. So uh, here's the historical background of general relativity. First one is the gravity. So basically gravity, it is a fundamental force that has puzzled man for ages despite the fact that it is related to the phenomena that can be experienced in everyday life. By the end of 16th century, it was Galileo who first introduced uh, inclined planes and pendulums to study the gravity. Uh, in fact, uh, it appears that gravity is one of the, uh, you can say the fundamental factor uh, that helps in building the Galileo's mind idea related to the uh, importance of experiments in science. However, gravity was not well understood until uh, Newton presented his famous inverse square gravitational law. Uh, this gravitational law is basically, uh, uh, it has basically two main concepts. First one, that the space is absolute. That it is a fixed, unaffected structure uh, with physical phenomena taking place in it. And the second one is that the inertial and the gravitational masses coincide. The, the first 20 years of Newton's gravity managed to explain all the aspects of gravity known at that time. However, it was realized that how a large portion of physical world was not successfully uh, described by uh, Newton's theory of gravity. So in 1905, Einstein presented his special theory of relativity, uh, which successfully explained non-gravitational frame of references. But it was soon realized that one need to generalize the special theory of relativity to accommodate the non-gravitational frame of references as well. So in 1915, Einstein presented his theory of relati uh, general theory of relativity uh, to study the gravity. So this is the brief and the short uh, introduction of the uh, general relativity. Now I will discuss the purpose that why there is a need to modify the theory of general relativity. Uh, so I will start with the cosmology. So what is the cosmology? So basically cosmology is the study of the origin and the evolution of the universe. In the early history of cosmology, uh, it was supposed that Earth is the center of the universe and all planets revolved around the sun. But in 16th century, an astronomer Nicholas proposed that, uh, that the sun is the center of the universe and all planets revolved around the sun. In 1917, Einstein introduced a cosmological constant that counterbalanced the attractive force of gravity uh, and assumed a universe that is static. However, observations confirm that our universe is undergoing a phase of uh, rapid expansion. Uh, that was, uh, uh, and in 1998, a group of astronomers announced that our universe is not only expanding, but it is, is, uh, but it is expanding with some increasing speed. This discovery had been a total surprise for cosmologists. Uh, because this it means that there must exist some matter field and energy that is responsible for this rapid expansion of the universe. This matter field is known as the dark matter and the energy is known as the dark energy. So basically the missing type of matter which is a dark matter uh, generates an attractive force while the dark energy produces a repulsive force. Dark matter slows down the expansion of the universe whereas the dark energy speeds it up Together, they make the 96% of this universe. Uh, another issue in cosmology that general relativity can't deal with is the cosmological singularity. So it is impossible to deal with those singularities in general relativity. So in order to obtain the solutions of these singularities, uh, a modification was done in general relativity uh, so that we can find the solutions of the space times in which those singularities exist. So, uh, alternative formulation of 
general theory of relativity was constructed and discussed soon after the formulation of einstein field of uh, einstein field equations known as the tally parallel theory of gravity uh, the tally uh, the tally parallel theory of gravity has further certain branches like ft theory of gravity where t is the torsion scalar ftb gravity where t is the torsion scalar and v is the boundary term i will uh, as my work is on ftb gravity so i will limit my uh, talk only on the ftb gravity so the first and the straightforward modification of tally parallel theory of gravity is the ft theory of gravity this ft theory of gravity is better than fr because ft theory of gravity uh, produce a second order field equation whereas fr theory of gravity pro uh, produce a fourth order differential equation but if one want to study the higher order tally parallel theory of gravity then we cannot limit ourselves to ft theory of gravity because it always produces a second order dynamical field equation so a mathematical model known as the ftb theory of gravity is considered in which the fr and ft theory of gravity uh, incorporated at, as its special subcases this is a very recent uh, field of study presented by bahamande in 2015 and how it linked fr and ft theory of gravity by a following relation which is given by r is equal to minus t plus v where t is the torsion scalar and v is the boundary term so uh, this figure shows the relationship between the ftb theory of gravity and other tally parallel theory of gravity so in ftb theory of gravity if one consider the boundary term b equal to 0 then one approaches towards the ft theory of gravity and if we made certain kind of modification that if we replace uh, the ftb model with minus t plus b then we approaches as uh, approaches towards the fr theory of gravity so uh, up till now uh we discussed the ftb theory of gravity now i will discuss some basic concepts that are related to these two theories first one is the matrix uh, matrix tensor uh in order to find the angle between the curve and distances between the points we need a matrix tensor uh this tensor is of rank 2 den uh, denoted by following symbol uh, and this matrix tensor is de non degenerate and symmetric in nature and in the component form it can be written in the form of following equation another advantage of matrix tensor is that it can be used for lowering and raising indices next one is the space time so basically space time is a mathematical model that combines a uh, three dimension of space and one dimension of time into a four dimensional single manifold so basically it is a pair mg where is a where m is a manifold and g is a matrix tensor next i will discuss the importance of symmetries in general relativity that how symmetries help in reducing the complexity of problem in general relativity so the einstein field equation is given by the following equation these einstein field equations are highly non linear so it is not an easy task to find the solution of these einstein field equation to overcome the difficulty while finding the or calculating the solution of this einstein field equation the symmetries were introduced and how symmetries work uh, basically symmetry reduce the degree of freedom of the problem and then and hence it reduce the complexity of the problem uh, mathematically an object is said to be symmetric in nature uh, if it remains invariant under under that transformation uh, in general relativity we have different type of symmetries some of them are the killing symmetry homothetic affine symmetry and conformal symmetry and many more uh, i will only discuss the conformal symmetry so any vector field x is said to be a uh, conformal vector field if it satisfies equation number 1 where this function psi is a smooth conformal fun function now if this function psi becomes zero then we have a killing vector field and if it's uh, if it's equal to constant then we have homothetic vector field uh, and we have proper homothetic vector field if it is constant but not equal to zero and otherwise we have proper conformal vector field next i'm going to discuss the methodology that how we solve the problems related to tally parallel theory of gravity uh, what technique we use while sol uh, while solving those problems so first of all 
we derive the einstein field equations for that particular field whatever the field is whether it is ftb ft ftq first of all we derive the einstein field equation for that particular field then uh, as these equations are highly non linear so we impose different restrictions on the metric components of space time to obtain the different classes of space time and once we get uh, the various classes of space time we then we use the equation 1 to find the conformal vector field of those space times and at the end we physically interpret those result thank you